Praise the Lord. Welcome to the Supernatural Life. Today I'm going to share about the topic called deliverance. How to receive the permanent deliverance. Let us read the word of God. According to Gospel of Luke chapter number 4 and verse number 18 that says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach the deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. It means, let, let, let us read it once again. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives. Let me highlight one of the lines that says, To preach deliverance to the captives. My brothers, I am going to the revelation right now. Okay, please don't, don't keep off this video. Please watch until it ends. Okay, so let us highlight the word called preaching deliverance to the captives. Many of the people are doing deliverance, but they are not preaching the deliverance. Let me come again. Many of the pastors, many of the men of God are delivering people from the darkness, but they are not preaching the deliverance. Preaching deliverance is different than uh, preaching the deliverance is different than doing deliverance. Let me come with one of the example. According to book of Matthew chapter number 12 and verse number 43. In that word that says, when evil spirit comes out of a man, that evil spirit goes to the dry place, seeking the rest, and it does not find, the demon does not find rest. After some days, the demon is going to come back to the person and saying that, it, when, when the demon is seeing the room is clean and putting in order, everything is fine, the demon is going to enter into the body of a believer again. So, when a man of God prays for the person to be free, he is not free completely. He is free at a certain limit. He is free at a certain time. Okay, we the, the believers needs to receive the word of God in the deeper in the deeper way so that he is free permanently. Okay, this is called preaching deliverance. What is mean by preaching and teaching the deliverance? Preaching the deliverance is nothing but preaching the wisdom of God. How to deal with problems, how to deal with sickness, how to deal with financial crisis. It is the basis of the wisdom of God to deal with a problems. Many of the people doesn't have ability to deal with the problems, hence they are suffered with a lot of a lot of a things. Hence they are suffering with diseases. They don't know how to how to deal with those kind of things. Okay, if they need ability, they need to come to the word of God. Word of God gives permanent solution for them to be free permanently. The only word of God have the power to make people to be free. Okay, so this is the permanent solution, permanent problems. Let me come with you for by an example. Okay, if 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 anybody having a financial crisis, people are praying for money, not for wisdom. My brothers, whoever they are praying for money. They are simple foolish. Okay? Don't pray for money. Pray for wisdom to get money. Pray for the wisdom to receive the money. Pray for the wisdom how to earn money. There is one of the scriptures that I want to say that in the Psalms, book of Psalms, there is one scripture that said, learn to do well. Okay? Learn to do well. If you want to do well, you have to be learned. If you are not learned, you are not going to do well. It is simple. The scripture is saying that. Okay. Many of the people are wants to do well, but they are not learning the word of God. They are depending on the miracles. Miracles are good. 
it's they are so good but don't depend on the miracles miracles are coming from the deepness of the word of god if there is no word of god in your heart okay you are going to possessed by the demon again you are going to possessed by the sickness again you are going to possessed by the same problems again because you don't have the word of god maybe the man of god released the miracle upon you that miracle makes you deliverance not permanently but temporarily temporarily you are saved you are free but not permanently what the what the deliverance that gives you permanent is the word of god okay the word of god gives you permanent deliverance to your life in the name of jesus so you need to seek the word of god to get deliverance permanently many of the people are praying for the power of god to uh, make them to be free permanently no okay let me let me let me uh let me say one of the example when lazar died then the lord goes to the lazar then the lord prayed for the lazar to be rise again when the lord prayed for the lazar the lazar is resurrected again the lazar is resurrected because of the prayer that the lord has done okay so but the lazar doesn't maintain what the lord is given to him the lord given a resurrection to the lazarus okay but he never maintained that kind of resurrection power again he died so the miracles are not permanent the miracles are so temporary don't depend on miracles you need miracle but don't depend on it you need to depend on the word of god what of god what of god can give you permanent solution word of god is nothing but the wisdom of god how to earn money many of the people are praying for the money to be released no you don't have to be pray for that just receive the wisdom receive the skills do work out do plans of the business okay there are more there are many ideas that god wants to release you in your mind but you people are just praying for the money it doesn't happen you need to be empowered in the spirit you need to be empowered in the ideas of a god so that you have to be start a business so that you can earn money that's the that's the process of earning money so many of the people are perishing because of the lack of knowledge so this is what the lord is saying that so my brothers if you want to be get permanent deliverance okay don't seek the miracle seek the word of god word of god can give you permanent solution if a word of god is in your heart whatever the problem is going to come into you 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 have the ability to deal with that problems so that problems are not going to hit you anymore because you have the ability to deal with that kind of problems you have the ability to deal with the demons so that the demons is not going to um, make you destroy because you have the wisdom how to deal with the demons how to deal with the problems how to deal with the financial crisis you have a wisdom by the word of god so that you are free now because of the word of god you are free it's a permanent freeness it's a permanent deliverance i hope you people are understanding all of these kind of things okay so my brother i'm giving you a conclu conclusion that don't depend on a miracle depend on the word of god believe in miracles it's good of course we need a miracle because to believe the god for an every person we need a miracle to believe in the god to establish our faith in the lord we need the word of god okay whatsoever the god has done a miracle for us that's not a permanent miracle we have to make that miracle permanent by the word of god okay if we have a word of god we have an ability to establish the miracles in our life okay so don't depend on the miracle depend on the word of god to be free from all captivities permanently 
so i believe you people understand so read the word of god meditate it go deeper in the word of god seek the revelations of the word of god seek the secrets and the mysteries of the word of god you are going to be very powerful businessman you are going to be a very powerful servant of god you are going to be manifested in the angels of god thus powerful manifestations are going to be released when you go deeper in the word of god so word of god can make you established in the christ not miracle never and ever miracle can establish you only word of god can establish you miracles are making you to believe in the god that's it jesus released a miracle to the peter so that the peter believed the lord after peter received the miracle from the lord he is instructed by the word of god not by the miracles that what the lord is doing right now here in this place so my brothers please do these things and read the word of god meditate it i hope you people all understand all of these things i thank you for all of these things and i bless all of the people in the mighty name of jesus so god bless you subscribe the supernatural life and share this video for us to be blessed amen